and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time watching one of my videos hello i'm nocturne and i'm a tarot reader here on youtube i hope you guys are well i hope you're staying safe i hope you're having an amazing day and today we're going to be looking into tom and zendaya's connection um this video has been requested by you guys and as usual i just want to make a quick disclaimer that i'm not going to be divulging too much into their personal lives out of respect for them and for whomever i do a reading about in the future but yeah we're just going to be looking at overall energy of their connection as well as how they see each other and all that stuff but yeah guys if you guys are interested in any of the cards i use would like to join me on patreon or would like to get a private reading for yourself i'll have all the links in the description box below and yeah without further ado let's get straight into it okay guys so we're starting off by seeing what is the general energy of their connection what is the general energy what is the general <laughs> what is the general energy of their connection wow so we have a woman holding a heart and patience one more from this deck we also have attachment okay let's grab some tarot cards general energy of their connection oof lots of cards okay we have page of cups ten of swords two of pentacles in reverse and seven of cups in reverse Okay, guys. Wow. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see all the cards. Okay. So I will say that in regards to their connection, obviously there's a very strong bond there with the page of cups and the woman holding a heart. It really does feel like they have a hold on each other, especially I feel like Zendaya. Zendaya really has Tom's heart. I feel like in their relationship, I mean, we're talking about current energy right now, okay? Because when I do readings like this and we're, lo we're looking at general energy, a lot of the things that are coming forward is um, current, right? Just how the current energy is. And so I'm not speaking that it's always like this, but currently there is a feeling of a little bit of like helplessness, just a feeling of like, oh, I need to be so patient because there isn't really that many options when it comes to like seeing each other or spending time together. Mm, I think balance is a little bit difficult for them right now in their connection. There's been a little bit, a little disappointments here and there in regards to maybe spending time together or seeing each other. I feel like for both of them or one of them more so, there is this feeling of, I wish we could be attached at the hip a little bit more. I wish we could spend more time together, but there is a feeling I need to be patient. So in regards to that, I feel like it's good because there is almost a feeling of like, okay, I need to be uh, selfless in this connection. I need to allow the other person to kind of like spread their wings and do their thing. But there is almost this feeling of like, oh, I'm a little bit heartbroken. I need to be patient. There aren't that many options. I wish I could be with you more. Is what i'm trying to say okay um but yeah anything else guys in regards to just general energy though general energy of their connection not current energy just general oops we have knight of swords we have seven of swords in reverse we have page of pentacles and we have justice wow they really trust each other okay you guys they really trust each other um i think this goes hand in hand for every you know public connection right people that are in the public eye when they have relationships there's always going to be people that want to meddle or people that um give you know maybe false information um i feel like they're very good at nipping things at the bud so let's say zendaya might hear something about tom she'll just go like hey i heard this is this true and he's like no and she's like okay bye <laughs> that's all i just wanted to check like they trust each other very well that it's very difficult for people to meddle and get in the way so i feel like the only time that maybe they might get issues is you know being apart from each other not being able to spend as much time together because i do feel like their connection feels a lot like being best friends too, you know, which is great, right? Where you want to talk to each other, you want to share everything with each other, you want to spend time, have fun together, things like that. And I think that is the biggest issue, time, not being able to be next to each other, not being able to spend time together. Um, when it comes to rumors or people m spreading misinformation and things like that, they're just very, very good at nipping it at the bud and trusting each other and putting more value in the other person than anyone else outside of the relationship. 
in terms of trust okay in terms of i value you i value what you tell me and so i don't need to you know question other people's opinions or what they're telling me about your business um because i trust you and we trust each other so in that sense they're very very good they're very very balanced i think they're people that are also able to really use their heads when it comes to situations so they're not going to be speaking emotionally from the heart if someone is angry they're like you know what let's take some time out and let's reconvene when we feel better so they're very careful about not hurting each other's feelings and things like that anything else in regards to general energy of their connection yeah seriously they're very very level-headed people um we have the ace of swords we have the seven of pentacles and we have the knight of swords communication is so important to them i think that's why sometimes it's difficult when they're spending so much time apart or they're not able to be close to each other because they are the type of um people that like to have that connection of talking to each other exchanging ideas i feel like they can talk about anything and everything i feel like they put so much value um the other person's opinions they respect each other a lot they're not above putting hard hard work in their relationship with the seven of pentacles they're not like instant graph gratification couples <laughs> they're not people that's like i wanted this now like now 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 they know that things take time and things take hard work um anything else yeah <laughs> Things take hard work and they're willing to work together for it. I feel like they are very good at, en at envisioning the kind of future that they want to have. So when things get difficult, I feel like it's easy to tap into each other's vision. Like, let's focus on the big picture. You know, this is what we want. We're going through a little bit of a difficult time right now, but we'll make it. So that's really, really good. Um, problem solvers. Okay, guys. So now let's go into how does Zendaya see Tom? So how does Zendaya see Tom? How does Zendaya see Tom? No? Oh, just one? Wow, I love that. That is so beautiful. How does Zendaya see Tom? How does Zendaya see Tom? Okay, guys, so we have the Three of Swords in reverse, we have Judgment, we have House, we have the World, we have the Ace of Swords, sorry, the World in reverse. Um, let me grab a few more from here. How does Zendaya see Tom? Wow. <gasps> How does Zendaya see Tom? There's a card that jumped out here. What's going on? We have the Queen of Pentacles. He is like a constant. There is something about Tom that Zendaya finds so funny. Like, I think he could just be sitting there smiling and she would be like, oh my God, you're the funniest person ever. Um, okay, so first of all, we have the house jump out. So there is a security, a safety, and a feeling of groundedness than that Tom brings to Zendaya's life. She feels like she can come home to him. He is his her house. Like she feels safe when she is with him. Okay, he feels solid. He feels grounded. He's not wishy-washy. So she knows what she can expect from Tom, okay? Um he's very reliable, okay? He she is not second guessing when it comes to her connection with Tom. Um she also feels like he is somewhat of a nurturer. He's someone that takes care of her a lot. I feel like in some ways, maybe he takes care of Zendaya more than maybe Zendaya takes care of Tom. I mean, they take care of each other in different ways, right? But for Tom, I think he's like, are you okay? Do you need food? Should I make you something? Do you feel sick? Like he's like that with Zendaya. He's nurturing. He wants to take care of her. Um, he's also someone that speaks his mind. He's able to be very honest with her and she really appreciates that. He doesn't. She doesn't want any BS. So if she asks him something, he will tell her straight on. And I think that's why also they have so much trust in each other because I think from the get-go, Zendaya could tell that um, Tom is not someone that can lie or can hide things from her. He's just very straight to the point and his face <laughs> can't deceive her. Like there's just some, like, it just tells on his face if he's trying to lie. So he just doesn't. Um, I feel like right now with the three of swords in reverse and the judgment, you know, there's been situations in the past where maybe they've gone through, you know, a little bit of a rough patch, just how every connection goes, right? Every connection, friendships, relationships, sometimes you go through ups and downs, but so far they've been able to 
get through everything. They've been able to um, figure things out together, have a rebirth in their connection, in their uh, relationship. And so, yeah, I think the only thing, though, is that with the world in reverse. Sorry, I just want to grab. Oh. Yeah. One second, guys. It's just that um, right now, the only thing is that I do see with the world in reverse, the six of pentacles, the eight of swords in reverse, and the devil. There is this feeling right now that's almost like, obviously, without... Um, saying too much there's this feeling of like right now I am almost like <laughs> there is so much of me that I shared with the world but I'm not able to actually share anything with you I feel a little bit stuck because it feels like Zendaya is giving a little bit of herself to everybody right and this is something that comes with the job like with the devil it's 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 a it's a contract it's something that she needs to do and I think sometimes she feels really stuck in it and she wants to get unstuck but I think they're able to see the big picture, right? With the Ace of Swords, they're able to see this is not something that's permanent. It's just the ebb and flow of life. But yeah, okay, guys. Anything else? Anything else in regards to how Zendaya sees Tom? I feel called to grab one card from here and another one from there. One second. Anything else in regards to how Zendaya sees Tom? Anything else in regards to how Zendaya sees Tom? Oh. One, please. Just one or two. Anything else in the rest of the diocese, Tom? No? Okay. Two. We yeah. <laughs> have. You know what? This is so funny because we have house, now we have room, and we have consolation. It's almost like every time she walks into um, into a room with Tom, she instantly feels better. It's like, okay, this is this is safe. I can sit down now and I can talk. Like, she feels better when she sees him, okay? With consolation, the second she sees him, she feels better. So, you know how when you get home from a long day, okay, this is a really, really weird um, uh, thing to say. But like, okay, for, you know, women that are watching my video, you know, when you come home after a long day and you're like, oh my God, I'm so tired. And then you take off your bra <laughs> and you feel amazing. That's how it feels when Zendaya sees Tom, like... She feels like, oh, I feel so much better. I didn't realize there was this like thing really hurting me or holding me back the whole day. Um, but now I feel like I can really relax. So there's this feeling of like, I, you make me feel a lot better. And with the Nine of Pentacles, I want to put effort and I want to put energy into our connection. I think it's worth it because it's enriching my life. Um, but yeah. Okay, guys. So now let's see. How does Tom see Zendaya? How does Tom see Zendaya? How does Tom see Zendaya? We have the High Priestess, we have the Five of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and we have the King of Cups. Wow. Okay, how does Tom see Zendaya? <laughs> he finds her so, so sexy, you guys. <laughs> So sexy, so seductive. Ooh. Just one, just one, please. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you guys, he is very, very, very attracted to Zendaya, okay? Um, he is very sexually attracted to her. He thinks that she is very, very attractive. He really likes her. So like, you know, when you get into a relationship and it's been a long time into that um, stage, right? When sometimes you're like in that stage where you're just like having fun together, but you don't necessarily get butterflies. He still get butterflies, okay? He properly gets butterflies. He is very protective of her, you guys. There's been instances in the past with a tower where maybe there's, you know, like situations and they were kind of like at a rough, rough, rough patch. And he's like, I'm, you know, pulling up my sleeves. I'm getting down and dirty. I am going to rebuild this. There is no way this tower is ending. He is very protective of her and he's very protective of their relationship. Um, he respects her a lot. Okay, we have the Emperor, we have the King of Cups, and we have the High Priestess right here. He respects her a lot. He thinks that she is someone that's very intuitive, someone that is... Um, like almost like the ultimate, <laughs> the ultimate goddess, right? Someone that is very intuitive, someone that knows what they're doing, someone that is very 
um, the, I'm trying to find the right words. Like her moral compass is very strong. She knows who she is as a person. There is this unwavering quality about her that is very attractive to him. I feel like he's not, he doesn't shy away. Like, okay, maybe, you know, you see Tom and he's not like the biggest guy or whatever, but trust me, he does not shy away from confrontation or he will get down and dirty. He will do whatever he needs to do. If there's competition, he's gonna like, show himself as like this big person and be like hey you know this is this is my person and i have so much respect for our relationship i will make sure you don't get in the way of our relationship with the three of pentacles um he sees her as someone that is very hard working and they work very well together so i feel like maybe it's a dream of his to like work with her again because i think that's also one of the things that made him really attracted to her is seeing her work, seeing her in action, seeing how much she puts into her work, what she gives out, that inspires him. That made him see her in a different light. Um, anything else in regards to how Tom sees Zendaya? <laughs> that was quick. We have a dream, we have twilight, we have forgiveness. Okay, you guys, seriously, it is literally like Zendaya is his dream woman. <laughs> okay, with Wish Upon a Star, it's like, he's like, oh my gosh, yeah, you are like, I can't believe you're in my life and I can't believe I even know you because it's almost like you're a dream come true, okay? Um, I also see that with forgiveness and twilight right here, again, like I mentioned, there's been situations in the past where maybe, uh, you know, it was it was a bit touch and go, but Tom is definitely the glue in this relationship. I'm not saying that Zendaya doesn't do anything, definitely not, okay? They're, I think the strength in them is communication and trust, right? Um, but Tom is the one that I feel like even with unbeknownst to people, unbeknownst to Zendaya, he's kind of like in the background doing his own inner work, doing whatever needs to be done to be able to overcome any issues in their relationship. So maybe he feels a certain way or he's upset and he knows that it's not coming from her. Maybe it's a projection of how he feels on the inside. <clears throat> he will try to work on that behind closed doors. Um, so that he can be a better partner for Zendaya, is what I'm hearing. Okay, guys, anything else in regards to how Tom sees Zendaya? Anything else in regards to how Tom sees Zendaya? Wow. He is currently going through it, you guys. He's currently going through it. I feel like um, there's there's a lot on his shoulders right now. But okay, <laughs> we have the High Priestess twice. I think it's just this feeling of like, you know when you look at the star, like the North Star. Zendaya is like the North Star to Tom. And I feel like currently he's having a little bit of a difficult time. And you know how I mentioned previously that when he goes through a difficult time, he doesn't shy away from doing his own um, work behind the scenes. I feel like he's doing a lot of work behind the scenes right now to overcome a lot of the things that are weighing on his head in regards to just the current situation and their connection. Um, but I think at the end of the day, she is his North Star. So he's trying to see the bigger picture is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, guys. Okay, so now let's see um, about how the next three months is going to unfold for uh, Zendaya and Tom's connection. How the next three months is going to unfold for... Tom and Zendaya's connection. No? Okay. Just this card that jumped out earlier. Wow, you guys. One of them is going to get a huge opportunity in regards to their career. Yeah. This is something you guys haven't heard yet. One of them is going to get a huge opportunity in regards to their career. This is something that hasn't been shown. This is not something that has been unfolded yet, especially with the moon and fear. I feel like this person is currently a little bit scared when the news is going to come out because they don't know how the world is going to um, respond to this news of this role of this project for this one person. But at the same time, I do feel like it's going to be really good. It's going to bring them a lot of um, exposure. It's going to be very good for their career. I think it's going to elevate of their status in Hollywood. And I feel like they're gonna be a lot more confident about their career too, once this news is out. But yeah, sorry, it's not about Tom and Zendaya, it's just about one person. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, the news, I can't um, control what messages come forward. 
but this is definitely an exciting new project i feel like this is something that they've been wanting to do for a really long time but at the same time they were real they're really scared of taking this plunge because it's a big risk but um i think it's going to be very very good for their career but anyways i'm going to stop the reading right here but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this reading if you did please give it a like and subscribe to my channel i hope you guys are taking care of yourselves i hope you're being good to yourselves if you hope i'll see you guys in my next video bye